Today's makeover is one that anyone can do. If you're looking for a way to paint wood furniture without sanding or priming and no top coat needed and get a beautiful brush-free finish with budget-friendly supplies, then this video is for you. We picked up these oak end tables from our thrift store for only $10 each. What? They were in great condition, but they're outdated and need some love. I removed the old outdated hardware and then I cleaned the tables really well. And then I started painting. This is farmhouse paint in the color pumice stone. It's a water-based all-in-one formula that says it doesn't need a primer or a top coat and that it has ultra adhesion. I brushed some of the paint onto a few different areas of the furniture, let it dry, and then I scratched at it the next day to make sure it was sticking to the furniture. It scratched just a little bit, but I had to dig in to get it to scratch. So I painted on the first coat. I added some water to the paint to thin it out to avoid brush marks and I used a zebra round paintbrush to brush it on. Then I let the first coat dry for a few hours and here's what it looked like then. It looked streaky and I could still see the wood underneath but the paint felt really smooth. The first coat always goes on looking bad like this with light colors so that's normal. After the second coat was dry, I saw a little drip on the front of one table and I couldn't help myself, I sanded that little drip out. I try so hard not to sand something at all and yet I can't help myself when I make a little mistake like that. Anyway, I ended up painting three coats total and then I let it completely dry. The old hardware isn't my style at all so I changed them out for some cup poles that I had in my hardware stash. And here's what they look like now. These tables are so stinking cute now. The paint seems to be like an eggshell finish, not too matte, not too shiny either, and I love it. Update, it has been a few months now and these have just sat in storage in my garage. Unfortunately though, when I scratch at the paint, I can get it to come off pretty easily. Knowing what I know now, I would recommend at least sanding and or priming before using this paint. This makeover cost $97 and it took less than five hours total to paint them. But the real question is, what do you think of this makeover? Are you looking for a simple project like this or would you rather sand and prime? Let me know in the comments. Not sure what supplies you need for your furniture flip? We got you. Click the link in my comment to download our free list of must-have supplies that we use every day to paint furniture.